Here's how I build a custom exhaust for a client's Yamaha XS650 chopper. First, I cut a stainless tube into sections called pie cuts. These are a great way to get tight compound bends that would be hard to achieve with one piece of tube. I like a five degree cut angle so that each pie cut adds 10 degrees to a bend. Much more than that, and the bend starts to look blocky, and that's not good. I prep and tack pieces together to form the shape of the exhaust. Once a section is tacked, I clean and weld it together. I'm using a basic Hobart Easy Tig welder with no filler rod. I make sure to purge with argon so that the inside of the welds don't sugar, which compromises the metal's integrity. This is what a sufficiently purged backside of a weld should look like. I'm always checking my work to make sure that this is what I see. Because I'm copying the original design, I worked from both ends, repeating the cycle of marking, tacking, cleaning, and welding until each side meets together underneath. For this last weld, I like to tack it in place on the bike to ensure a good fit. Then I weld it up on the table and do the final install for the left side. With that side finished, I follow the same process to make the other one. My favorite part of exhaust making is firing up the bike for the first time and watching the exhaust burn in. One perk of using stainless is that you can read the temperature by its color and even help tune the bike this way. As you can see on this exhaust, when I held mid-throttle, it got cherry red for a second and cooled to a dark purple. This tells me that there's a lean spot in the mid-range. What's cool about stainless is that you can rub the color off with a scouring pad after adjusting the tune and see how differently the color comes back. So here's the final result. What do you think? Would you run this kind of exhaust on your bike?